Hello, my name is John Kamau from Top Heights Electricals and Electricians, and I'm glad that you joined this video. Now, today I want to talk about power saving tips. I had asked a question about uh, power bills and how you feel about uh, paying the bills, and I received several uh, answers to the question. One I received from Amina. Amina is in the medical uh, practice and she said hers is very very high she said that some of the appliances that she's using in the house should not be consuming that uh, much bill i inquired further she told me she pays four thousand on average uh, per month also patricia angula is a great friend of mine a client who is also in the insurance industry says her bill is very high and she said that some of the things that are in her house should not be consuming that much and because she rarely uses them again i also received a, a response from custom remy custom remy is a biochemist also a great friend of mine and a, a, a client of Topite Electrical said that uh, uses the microwave and the bill is very high. Also, he feels that uh, it shouldn't uh, be like that. Now, let me dwell right into it. What consumes a lot of power in your house? Now, uh, the microwave. The microwave, most of the microwaves are rated at 1 kilowatt to 2 kilowatt and others sometimes may go even higher. Now, whenever you turn your microwave on, there are several things that run simultaneously, which is number one, the magnetron. The magnetron is a gadget that directly uh, heats or warms your food. The heaters, sometimes you may take that or you may uh, select that option of the heater and maybe you want to grill your meat so the heater will consume power definitely there's this motor which turns the plate uh, there's a fan the fan helps to keep the uh, mag uh, magneton and also the components inside the uh, microwave uh, cool there's the electronic circuit which definitely consumes power the microwave I suggest that cook your meals and consume them or if you're not ready to consume the meals at that time how about you go traditional and you use the hot pots yeah it can help you a great deal so that you don't have to own your phone so we have the heaters uh, especially in the times whereby there is cold uh, in your house you will want to use uh, the heaters room heaters uh, there is also the AC when it's heating up or warming up your room, will definitely consume power because of uh, the heater inside. The iron box also has an element. The element, when, whenever it heats up uh, or, or warms the ironing plate, uh, it's definitely consuming power. Uh, number three, the instant shower head. Most of the instant shower head uh, are rated from 5600 watts all the way to 5800 watts or even more so this definitely means the longer you spend in the shower the more the heater uh, the instant shower head is consuming so you may probably want to reduce the time that you are in the shower how about the freezer and the fridge are uh, the freezer and the fridge I will also consume power because most of them will run for longer hours than uh, they are not running. This means that, you know, most of the fridge and freezers, of course, almost all of them are automatic, whereby they run for a certain uh, a period of time. And then after, a certain, after that, they, 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 they are not, they are not uh, let, let's say they are on standby. So, uh, if your fridge or your freezer is running most of the time of the day uh, or even the night, just know it's consuming a lot of power. 
I would advise that uh, if, for instance, you are storing food and it's not a lot of food, how about you purchase food, the, uh, uh, food items, uh, cook, and then consume? With the fridge and the freezer, how about uh, you reduce their use or you can maybe do away with them by this manner? That's just my advice. How about you cook your meals and consume them straight from the market all the way to the kitchen? All the way to the stomach so that you may not have to uh, to store your meals uh, in the freezer now the dispenser the dispenser has two functions number one it heats the water or cools the water now uh, these processes consume electricity but I would want to focus more on heating aspect whenever your dispenser heats up the water it has an automatic system whereby when the temperature of that water goes low then it will automatically heat up that water again to uh, a certain temperature and so it, within a day or even in a, an, a, an entire night the dispenser will come on and off so that it may keep the temperature of the water that high repeated heating of the water is definitely consuming the electricity so how about again going traditionally you heat your water probably with the gas or uh, whatever a method you use and then you store this water in a flask that is just my suggestion so that you may reduce the uh, frequency in which the dispenser is consuming power about lighting uh, on lighting, I suggest that uh, you go for the current LED bulbs or lighting which again consumes a, a very low power. For instance, uh, whenever you are going to purchase your bulbs, ensure that you take note of the wattage. There were traditional bulbs which used to emit heat and light, you know them, and these bulbs definitely consume a lot of power whenever they convert energy to these two forms the light and the heat so the led bulbs mostly will convert their energy to light the heat is very little which means that it does not take a lot of power the pump if you have a pump in your home definitely the pump will consume electricity but the good thing about the pump is that it only has a motor inside so uh, if for instance you're using the pump directly to pump your water to the taps then that means it will con it will be on most of the times and it will really hurt your pocket the best thing is to to have a storage tank whereby the pump will only uh, pump your water to the storage and you will use the uh, the, the pressure which comes due to the uh, gravity uh, created by the height of that uh, water tank to be able to uh, get the water in the taps. TVs, radios, computers, how about you switch them if you're not using them? Because continuous using of these uh, gadgets also will consume a lot of uh, power at the end of the month. Also, the chargers or adapters which power our uh, gadgets such as the Wi-Fi router will consume power, but not that much. So when you look at these charts, I've highlighted the appliances that use a lot of power and they are in red. So it is important for you to take note of them and see how you're going to reduce their use. And also the ones that are in green, do not really consume a lot of power so if you take note of that uh, i think it will definitely definitely create some change and leave some money in your pocket if you find this information helpful how about you reach us uh, in our comments comment something if you have a question i'll be glad to answer you can also uh, reach us through our email which is topheightselectricals at gmail.com Thank you so much for your time.